Hey there guys, today we're going to be doing a new Zero to Hero, this time we're back on the Wizard. Um, they've recently done some new changes to the Wizard, so I want to check them out. Also, I haven't played Wizard in a while. So the new base kit, interestingly enough, you have Quarter Staff. There's also a new perk, which we're going to be using today, called uh, Staff Mastery. When using the Staff Type Weapon, you gain 5 weapon, ma uh, five Magic Weapon Damage, sorry. Other aside from that, we're going to be running Arcane Mastery, Reactive Shield, Ice Shield, Staff Mastery, and Arcane Shield. We're going to be playing a bit of a melee wizard build today to try and see how uh, Staff Mastery feels. Uh, for our spells, we're going to be running Fireball, Magic Missiles, Ignite, Haste, and Invisibility. The, I would like to take Zap, but the thing is with taking Ignite is it's really hard to fit them in. Um, because we're not taking the Knowledge perk and also the Cast Speed perk, I think it's not really worth running Zap because of that, but I'm not too sure. We'll have to see how it goes. I think you can also drop Haste and maybe take Zap instead, but we'll see. Uh, let's actually quickly do into a Runes. Right now, solo rotation is on Ruins, so we have only two minutes left, so I'm just going to go in and continue talking whilst we're inside. Uh, but first of all, let's just do a damage check. So this, I don't think, works as intended, because this makes it sound like five magic weapon damage. It sounds like that shouldn't scale with the magical damage from your staff. However, it does. So let's see with an Ignite headshot. We're adding 29 extra damage to each hit on the headshot. Plus also a burn as well. But like a body shot, we're also adding another uh, 19. So I honestly think the damage from this is actually pretty solid. And it'll definitely be interesting to try it out. Especially if we get a higher tier staff. Let's actually quickly check out the quarter staff as well on damage. Okay, so we're adding an extra like 16-ish on headshots. It's okay. But I guess we are doing a lot more physical, so if we get a bunch of strength, maybe we should use the quarter staff instead. But honestly, I think the traditional kind of magic damage scaling will scaling magical power with the magic staff will probably do a lot better. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the actual game. Okay, hey there guys, welcome uh, to the first high roller. Let's see how it goes. Uh, after this, it's probably only going to be goblin caves, unfortunately, with the new way the system works. Uh, straight away, let's use an ignite, honestly, to try and help us kill out these wolves. These wolves are a bit painful sometimes to deal with as, like, um, wizard and stuff. Uh, we need to remember as well, we're actually running, like, every tanky perk. I actually should have used our shield there. Uh, okay, some decent boots right off the bat, or at least the cultist boots are a very nice base. That's what we do want to be using. I guess we could actually take the throwing knives. They're actually kind of useful when we can use ignite to get a little bit more damage on them. Uh, still, of course, not going to be hurting anywhere near as much as like uh, Francisca's or anything, but it'll help a little bit. So the thing to note is the magic staff actually is doing okay melee damage now with the staff mastery perk, even when we're not igniting it. Um, I checked in on headshots, I think it was like 17 or something when you're not igniting it, so that's honestly quite a lot of extra damage that you're not normally getting on Wizard. Let's actually remember to use an Arcane Shield. Um, even if they don't hit us, it's not really that big of a waste, it's pretty local then, I believe. Uh, I haven't actually, I don't think I've used this in, I honestly don't even know how long, it's been a long time. Yeah, 25 second cooldown, plus of course whatever duration it has, uh, 12 seconds. It's not the shortest ever, but it's not too bad. Now, we're not really going to be playing for AP here, we're probably just going to be playing for... Uh, to get a better kit, and also to test this out a little bit as well. Let's just be patient. Okay. Well, just trying to be patient, but... um. We should be noticeably tankier than a lot of other wizards would be in, in this point, just due to our perk selection. And as long as we actually utilize our um, shield ability, which is quite easy to utilize. 12 seconds is quite a long time in this game. And it's, like, surprisingly not that tiny. Like, a 20 damage shield is actually pretty solid. Like, that's, like... Uh, is that, like, a green blue pot or a blue blue pot? A blue quality blue potion? I'm not sure. It's something around there anyway, so that's a decent little find. I believe it also stacks with blue potions as well, so you can really stack it up. Right, we found some decent fizz power gear, unfortunately. Stuff that we can't use, though. Um, so we did go orc this time as well, just for a little bit extra health, and also a little bit extra physical power might help us a bit more than one movement speed. Usually on wizard, I go for the one movement speed. Ooh. 
Just heard an arrow. Where was that? Not too sure. Well, we don't have to worry about it anyway. I don't believe it was at us. Uh, to quickly change my inventory. Right. So... I don't think we'll be using the quarterstaff much. I think the quarterstaff uh, being added to the base kit for the wizard is a pretty nice change. However, it's probably only really useful if you're running a more traditional wizard build and not running this kind of melee staff mastery thing because at that point you need the... Um, well, you don't need, but you really appreciate the extra magical damage. Okay, so a crossbow is actually pretty interesting. That's actually something we can use as a wizard. And we can actually ignite that and then probably do have some decent shots off with it. Although we do need bolts. I do believe some of the uh, enemies here that we killed had some bolts on them or maybe one of the chests or something. So let's go take a look, see if we can find those bolts. Um, I think it was early on, so it's probably like over here somewhere. Uh, assuming I'm not misremembering, it would be really nice to find those bolts. Am I losing my mind? I swear we found some bolts. There. Okay, perfect. Spawns with one it one in it as well. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to reload that because our dexterity... Actually, our dexterity is insanely high at the moment. Uh, these boots give five. The wizard hat is giving us an extra one. So, honestly... We're probably going to be able to reuse the crossbow more than um, fighter. Which is actually kind of nice because it gives us a decent-ish ranged option. It's still not going to do as much damage as it will for the fighter. Even if it's ignited, I do believe. Let's pop the shield, we might as well. Many headshots. Okay, I had a feeling it was going to die from that. So we are we are really doing pretty solid melee damage for a base kit wizard. Well, I guess we're not quite base kit anymore, but we don't really have anything to scale our damage too much. We mainly just have dexterity at the moment. We do have a little magical power. Oh, this hat. Yeah, yeah, right. I think I just heard someone up there to the north. So, let's go ahead and use one magic missiles here just to speed this up. Uh, I do definitely hear someone triggering a zombie. Into the north. Oh my god, we just sent that guy into the shadow realm with that hit. Now, there is someone still close to us, so we do need to be careful still. That guy wanted the smoke in quick melee range, but he did not realize what he was in for. We hit him with a few splashes. Uh, hopefully that guy has meds for us, because we are not looking very healthy right now. Uh, gloves, okay, uh, better legs for us, sure, campfire, perfect, this guy had meds for us, beautiful. Uh, let's honestly just drop this potion, this potion is so low tier, I don't really care for it that much. Uh, we kind of do need to go though, which is a bit annoying. Um, we have to go far as well by the look of it, so let's use a few potions, uh, oh sorry, one potion, two bandages probably, and then make our way to the north. However, let's probably head over to this direction a little bit. Um, hopefully there's a few less mobs this way. We do, of course, have magic missiles that we can use to clear out the um, areas. We also probably do want a campfire when we get back in, um, just to get some of our spells back. Now, the only thing is, you probably notice how long it takes us to buff. Not having any real knowledge or cast speed or anything makes it take quite a while for us to buff up. And the problem is with the magic staff is it's quite low range, of course. Honestly, probably shouldn't even waste my time fighting this guy, but... Let's get some more meds ticking. Uh, we're probably, unfortunately, going to have to use, like, basically all of these meds. Right. 
let's put this away. Let's just get moving. Hopefully there's no cockatrice or anything in here. Okay, it looks like we're okay for now. The next zone's already coming in. Rawhide gloves, those might be better for us. Magical damage bonus. Okay, for now let's just keep these. I would like to take a, a red, so we can definitely look to take this static red. Hmm. Let's campfire here. I don't think we're going to take zone damage from here, and we should hopefully be a bit sheltered from people seeing us. Of course, the campfire will give out some light, but hopefully it's not enough for, um... Or hopefully, yeah, it's not enough to be detected. And let's just try and listen out for audio. Right, okay. So we've made it up. We're full HP now. Let's go ahead and sort this inventory out a little bit, because this is a little bit all over the place for now. Um... Knowledge, resourcefulness. Honestly, let's keep the strength and physical power for now. Versus this neck, true physical damage, magical damage bonus, versus all attributes, resourcefulness, fierce damage reduction. Mm, let's stick with that for now as well. Right, let's go ahead into the zone. Okay, so the static red is now open. Someone has been through here. I can hear someone actually, yeah. Send that gamer to the Shadow Realm as well. Let's get another... Let's get some pots going. So hopefully you can see the potential with this. Uh, these guys are probably relatively low gear, to be honest. But, you know, so are we. We're almost base kit. We have a few decent pieces, but our staff, which is, of course, one of the most important parts, is not even grey. It's the one that you start with, so it's even worse than grey. Uh, this guy was pretty geared, huh? Right, um, well, let's take that. Uh, we actually can't even use that, so let's take, take the flock back. We're gonna have to go soon, unfortunately. Let's grab whatever we can and then run to that static. Uh, looks good. I don't think we need to med, however, but right now, anyway, let's just run here. We should have put the surgical kit away as well. That makes us run a little bit faster. Let's just go ahead and pop the surgical kit right now. Uh, meant to equip the frock. We would have been able to take more loot there. That's my bad. Okay, hey there, guys. Um, yeah, unfortunate that we didn't equip the frock in time. We would have had space for a few more pieces that that guy had. However, we already had some pretty decent gear on us. Um, honestly, our boots are probably better than that, so let's just stick with what we got for now. Let's honestly drop these rawhides. They are decent, but honestly, I think we appreciate the strength, having some extra health. We're at 94 health, actually, on a wizard, which is pretty decent. Oh my god, this cape is three strengths, two magic damage, three move speed. That's a wraith. Wait a minute. Uh, this is a bit sketchy. Alright, let's go... Let's actually just use an invisibility. Uh, this is rough actually all right what we're gonna do is we pull this guy here and then we just run around behind it and we shut the door this room has a lot of ranged mobs in here so we need to be a little bit careful oh god this cast speed i'm not used to this at all right no but god Okay, we're going to do a trade run, I feel like, because I want to try this with a decent staff. So after this, we'll go and buy a, a decent magic staff and take a look at how strong it is. I did actually fight against one as a um, a melee wizard, as a uh, on my fighter. I was, I've been grinding to Demigod a little bit recently. Ah, oh god, alright, let's be careful. Let's just get some meds popping. There's no reason to risk anything unnecessarily. Just wait for our ability. Yeah, there we go. Wait for a shot in case it's a double shot. Okay. Honestly thought this guy was dead now. Nope. Didn't I magic missiles one of these guys? Okay. Not sure. Either way. Alright, let's actually check that recurve again. 
Uh, Broken Skull, I need that for a quest, but honestly, I'm probably not too worried at this point about progressing quests, so let's just leave it on the ground. Uh, that recode's not very good, so let's not worry about it. Right. Let's get some meds popping as well. Uh, let's use some of these, like, single stack potions. Was this lion's head always here? I feel like I haven't seen this here in a while. Ooh, my god. Knowledge, strength, and movement speed. Those are insane legs for what we're trying to do here. A uh, decent windlass, but no one cares about the windlass particularly. So let's not worry about that. Bones need those for quests as well, but at this point, I'm assuming the wipe is probably going to come. Oh, wow. What is this? Okay, let's drop the strength. Let's take the raw hides. We'll be a little bit squishier. But two additional magical power, knowledge is cast speed, resourcefulness, interact speed, and additional physical damage. Yeah, as soon as we get, like, a, a decent staff now, we are going to be doing pretty solid damage, I think. Like, let's have a quick look at our... Okay, so we're at minus two physical power bonus, but we do have some uh, added flat damage. I didn't even look at our jewelry either. More dexterity. We're currently a 26 dexterity wizard. All right, that's not something you see every day. Uh, let's tr try and sort this inventory out a little bit. Um, I like having my consumables on the left side generally. Makes it a little bit easier for me to manage. Right, so we have quite a bit of space left still. Um, pretty damn good run so far, honestly. I was not expecting the run to go this well. <clears throat> Occultist boots are probably the kind of base that we do would like. But right now, uh, we'll just use what we have. As, I don't know. The dexterity, honestly, how much action speed do we have? 8.2%. Like, we're swinging decently fast. And the thing is, I'm not sure if the bis with this is the magic staff. It might be because of the staff mastery perk. But previously, or, you know, with Ignite, it adds flat damage. So you want something that attacks fast, right? You want, like, a rondel dagger or something. But, of course... Uh... We can't utilize Staff Mastery, so that might have actually changed the, like, tier list of weapons for Melee Wizard. But that's definitely something interesting to take note of anyway. So I think we're killing these in four headshots. Yeah, four headshots. We're attacking pretty fast as well. Like, this is pretty solid. This is a very lucky start, though. Some of this gear we've got. Um... Yeah, it's decent, but we've got already got this Wizard Hat, so this is probably going to be better for us. <laughs> It is kind of weird stat line, though, I'm not gonna lie. Armor pen, physical power, and magic pen. The armor pen and magic pen don't really do anything, but the physical power will help a tiny bit. Um, I actually have never looted these, like, rooms here. Heavy all night chests are pretty decent, so let's take a look, see if we get anything from here. It's an okay cloak, but I don't think we'll bother. Right, let's drop this shadow mask. Honestly, the shadow mask isn't that good. It's okay. Uh, let's take the robe cowl. I guess we're playing for... We can play for a little bit of AP, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm not going to be pushing to Demigod or anything on the wizard. And that's really the only reason I worry about AP now. Um, currently almost... Uh, well, I got rolled back. I was playing quite a lot yesterday, which was basically the only day that they rolled back. So unfortunately, I lost a decent amount of progress on my fighter. I guess I should have just not played that day. I also got some crazy good kits. I found two uh, rogues that traded with each other. And they were, like, geared to the teeth. They were, like, full gold and, like, ruby silver gear and stuff. Legendaries, uniques. It was insane. They must have died to each other's, like, rupture or poisoned weapon or something. But, unfortunately, that's all gone. Um, we'll probably just honestly look for a relatively quick extraction. We'll just, like, fill up our inventory and probably head out. I think we're the only player left, so I don't think there's going to be any more PvP down here. And I just want to get a, um... Nicer magic stuff. Oh, wow, that's a good... Uh, oh, that's another good ring for us. But honestly, we're gonna... Let's just keep that. That's more like a traditional wizard ring. We kind of need some tankiness from the vigor and stuff. And the max health. So... Is this a nightmare? No. Let's just go ahead and magic missile this guy. So, we'll definitely appreciate any vigor or anything we can get. Um, 
PDR is nice as well. However, we're not really going to be able to get too much PDR. I think what we do is we reset. We look for a better staff. We look for a better frock. Prior on the staff, probably. Although, definitely a better chest piece would be appreciated as well. What's interesting is the frock actually gives... Uh, if you're unaware, the higher tier frocks actually give dexterity as well. So we could actually look for a higher tier frock. Because most people don't really care for dexterity that much. Especially on, you know, wizard... So, we could maybe get a high tier one for cheap. Uh, I'm hoping the marketplace is working right now. I haven't actually checked today uh, since the most recent patch. It didn't work as well as it should have. Basically the entire time. I, it's also so weird to me how things... Patches in this game take like two patches to even work. Like, how did they try and add the quarter staff to the wizard base kit and it just didn't get it? Like, how does that happen? I don't know, but whatever. The nice thing as well now, of course, is they actually increase the amount of ignites you get. So you actually can just use this pretty, f or quite a lot, without having to worry about it. Ignite lasts so long as well. Like, I feel like our damage output is actually really solid right now. Chuck a better staff on our kit, and my god. We'll probably be doing really big damage. We'll try and get like an epic staff or something. Uh, I imagine we can probably get an epic staff pretty cheap. It's, you know, it's a bit off meta. The only build that really uses it, I think, is like Glow of Corruption Warlock. Although maybe right now this is kind of meta. I haven't seen many. I've seen like, mm, I think I've seen two people doing it and I fought one. And the guy unfortunately just got crossbow to death. <laughs> so he was wizard gaming. He was trying to poke me at range. Uh, I didn't realize that he was going to be a melee um, wizard until he got too close and he ignited his weapon and I just shot him with a crossbow three times and he died to a trap. Unfortunate. At least he got his gear back though. I'm definitely glad that they're adding styles like this because I really appreciate it. One of my favorite archetypes is like buffing up your weapons, your melee weapons. So with like, you know, magical or elemental things. So I really like this. I'm really glad that they've added this as a playstyle. I know, of course, Ignite Wizard already was a bit of a playstyle, but it kind of got nerfed so hard um, that it wasn't really that good for a long while. Now, is this good? So far, it feels pretty good. However, it's probably mainly due to the presumably unintended interaction between... Um... Okay, uh, drop that. Between the staff magical damage and the staff mastery weapon damage, magical weapon damage scaling. So whether that will get nerfed or removed, we'll see. Ah, right, so let's just take the blue. One thousand twenty AP. We're only at Wanderer, so it's pretty low uh, fee and stuff. Anyway. We got 416 gold from our treasures. I don't think we're really going to be able to sell either of these things, so these things are just going to get vended for another 80 gold. But I do think these Lightfoots will probably sell for a little bit, seeing as the two they get, and they've also got an additional movement speed bonus on them. And we're selling these Lightfoots for 300 gold. Could maybe sell them for a bit longer, but we're just into selling them, so we can continue with the video. So I believe that gives us about... I think it was about 800 gold to work with. We'll go a little bit under. Um, but honestly, we'd probably be able to get pretty insane gear if we're spending like 400 gold on a frock and a magic staff each. So let's go and take a look and see what we can get. Let's actually try out the new marketplace. It looks like the magic staves are actually a lot more expensive than I was expecting. So well, let's buy this rare one for about 300 gold. Let's also remember we do have this ring we could sell if we wanted to. But let's not worry about that for now. Let's also go ahead and buy this uh, Mystic Vestments, one Vigor, one Strength, four Will as well for about another 300 gold. Aside from that, let's just fill up our bandage stocks. Uh, let's buy just another five and then we should be okay with this amount. Keep one of the coin purses we've got. Let's just have a quick check of our stats. So without our staff out, which is only a 20 movement speed penalty, by the way, this thing is quite a low movement speed penalty. We're running 301 move speed with 14 Strength, 26 Dexterity, 25 Will. Um... 25% PDR, actually, which is kind of surprisingly high. 41% um, magic bonus, 0% uh, physical power bonus, so we're actually even, which is quite high for a wizard. Well, not high, but higher than you should really be having, to be honest. 
uh, we're going to be heading into some goblin caves now. Of course, can't choose the map I want to choose anymore, unfortunately, due to the new uh, system this works. This is another thing that I mean. The rotation, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work as intended either, right? Like, surely one of these maps should be trios, one should be solos, one should be duos. And instead, it's just one map that rotates between duos, trios, and solos? I don't know. It's so weird. They'll probably fix that again, hopefully. But anyway, let's go ahead and head into a high roller goblin caves. Oh my god, look at this damage check. We're doing like 100 damage headshots or something. That's insane. And of course, like half of that also is magic damage, so that's going to be penetrating all physical damage reduction. Uh, sure, magic resist might still help a little bit. Is this a... This is a fight with a longsword, okay. Interesting. Ah, someone else is trying something similar, but they're using a rondel dagger instead. Interesting. Okay, hey there guys, welcome to Goblin Caves. It'll be interesting to try this in a lower range map, or like a... A lower area map, I suppose, where like, we're more likely to get jumped on by rogues and stuff. I feel like we're also a bit more, um... Vulnerable to rogues than other people, typically, of course, uh, as I'm just constantly yapping, uh, it's a lot harder for me to hear rogues, which is usually how you, you know, can tell where they're going to be coming from. Wow, okay, so we're actually three shot headshotting those now. Uh, that's even without ignite, of course. It's just uh, normal it hits. So that's feeling really good. Our PvE clear is going to be really good, I guess. Magic missiles for any scary things, and otherwise just staff bonks and ignites, I guess, for... Um, tankier things perhaps like centipedes and stuff i honestly want to fight a centipede and see how uh, many hits it actually takes us to kill it or how long it takes us to kill it but we are surprisingly tanky for a wizard you know now like with the um, adaptive shields and along with arcane shield as well we have like a bunch of extra artificial health tag on so that's 15 that's an extra 20 so that's an extra 35 and of course we do actually have this like slow as well this thing is really short duration so i don't know if it really will be doing too much work for us but it does of course also um give us flat arm rating as well so it's not like it's just a benefit of the slow we're sitting also at around 25 percent pdr so that's okay we'll probably have this will be interesting to see i am a bit worried about rogues because if they jump on us before we're buffed with at least ignite we probably won't be able to kill them faster than they'll be able to burst us down but we'll see um though i don't think there was actually from what i saw there was only one rogue and he actually wasn't even running hide so hopefully we'll be okay but that's probably the matchup that i'm most worried about at the moment uh i guess barbarian also could be Bit of a problem, but I think Barbarian honestly will be okay as long as we utilize Fireball and get some magic missiles off possibly before we actually engage in melee. Okay. Okay, so we just double bonked that guy, the other wa uh, wizard that is. Yeah, um, this guy had decent gear, but I felt like we were just going to have much higher DPS output than this guy was going to have. Especially seeing as we actually use our um, shield. Uh, I don't know what this guy had, but... Uh, a lot of these pieces are pretty lackluster. Oh, wow, those are insane, actually. We might go for those instead. How much movement speed does that give us? 291... This gives us 10 extra movement speed. Okay, that's actually crazy good. Let's check his gloves as well. Oh, wait. That actually might be... Yeah, we're probably going to swap over to that as well. Um, how much health do we lose? 96. 94. Hmm. But we do gain a little bit of extra damage as well, so I guess that's fine. Uh, the cloak's pretty whatever. The amulet is also kind of whatever. Oh my god, the gloves as well. Uh, fizz damage, fizz power, vigor. Oh my god, the vigor is going to be huge. 101 health. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, let's take another green pot. Let's take a few more health potions. We don't need that many. That'll do. Let's just leave the rest of it on the ground there. Yeah, but this damage output is feeling insane. I'm not going to lie. Like, this feels really crazy good. Is this broken? Possibly. Honestly, Possibly. I'm just wondering what matchups are going to actually be bad for us. Because, like, a lot of our traditionally bad matchups, I don't feel like will be that bad at all. Like, sure, Fighter probably won't be as good as it is uh, against, like, the normal traditional wizard build. But we're still... 
we still have wizarding capabilities, right? We're still going to, um, we still can magic missiles, we still can poke with fireball. And if we get the, um, first hit off with like a, a staff headshot with ignite up, bye bye to a fighter, you know? Barbarian might be rough, but again, as long as we kite them, get like maybe one or two spells off before we engage in melee, we're probably going to be fine. Okay, how many headshots here? Two? Yeah, two headshots. Nah, okay, this actually feels insane. I'll probably, this might sound like one of my most clickbaity titles when I'm titling this video, but this actually feels ridiculously good. Like, this feels overtuned. I absolutely want Melee Wizard to be viable, but I don't really want it to be, you know, overpowered. I don't really want anything to be overpowered, but... <laughs> I mean, I'll probably have some fun with this for a while anyway. I really enjoy, um... Playing, like, non-traditional styles like this, but... This honestly might be meta. Like, this is insane. The damage output is crazy. What will probably happen is I imagine they will fix the presumably unintended interaction between the magic, magical damage from your staff plus the staff mastery. I should have actually checked on a um, dummy without ignite just to see. But I suppose we'd still be doing like 70-ish damage headshots. Although I suppose... Maybe the reason why this feels so good is also due to the, just the additional, like, health pool that you get from the, um, shielding skills from Wizard. Which, of course, you can't really utilize that well a lot of the time, it feels like, in the more traditional Wizard build. Especially, like, Arcade and Shield. Like, you kind of need to play the 10 spell or Meditate, right? But especially 10 spell. I feel like 10 spells are a lot better than Meditate. Meditate's just for, like, your first run when you don't really have enough knowledge to run 10 spell. And even then, you can still kind of run 10 spell. It's not 10 spells, though. It would be more like 8 or something, but... Either way, that's still fine. Uh, I did buy this for, like, 300 gold, so I don't really want to drop that. I guess we can actually just campfire to save ourselves a little bit of um, space. How many spells are we lacking? We're not really lacking many spells at all, so this is a bit of a waste. But let's just go ahead and get all of our spells back. Strength and action speed. I honestly wonder if running this ring would be worth it instead of one of these. I mean, that ring is really nice. I guess dexterity isn't that great, but it's a pretty good one. I also just prefer vigor, honestly. But the action speed as well? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Action speed has dropped quite a bit um, for some reason. Oh, right, because we lost five dexterity from there. Those are very solid boots as well. We'll take a bit of an AP hit from uh, keeping these things, but it's okay. Honestly, we could probably just drop these throwing knives as well. We're probably not going to utilize them. At range... Okay, I thought I heard some footsteps for a second. At range, of course, we're probably primarily going to be fireballing. At mid to low ranges, we'll be magic missiling, and then we'll probably just be buffing up and going into melee. So I feel like the throwing knives don't really have much of a usage. However, I suppose we could use them for... Um, for kiting a little bit more, because we are very fast, right? So, like, the only things that are really going to be faster than us are potentially barbarians with a rage up, and maybe rogues or uh, rangers. So that's not many things, you know? Maybe, you're like, Slayer Fighter, but Slayer Fighter's not really played much. But I suppose we're not really at high ranks on this. Oh my god, I'm still surprised that we're just two hitting these things. Like, our gear's good, but is it that good? Not really. Although I'm surprised that we got all of this gear from, like, one run. I guess, you know, we did trade, but... I felt like for a while the marketplace, um, everything on the marketplace felt surprisingly cheap, but right now it actually didn't feel that much cheap. Uh, it didn't actually feel that cheap. It actually kind of felt more expensive, honestly, than... um. Just through normal trading. Uh, that's a decent ring as well. Spellcast speed and will. Um, but honestly, we don't really have much inventory space anyway. So let's not worry about it too much. Let's actually just drop, like, one bandage. Uh, we don't need this many health potions either. Let's go ahead and drop, like, two more. Sort the inventory out a little bit. 
green treasures we'll take. Hmm, yeah, let's drop that for a surgical kit. Uh, goblet. What can we drop that's like... What are these? Physical power, additional physical damage. Man, physical power is really not doing that much for us, but... The additional physical damage will help as well, so I guess let's just stick with it for now. Uh, I would like to try and find one of the training dummies, but I forget where they actually are on this map. Uh... I know roughly, but not exactly. But let's try and see if we can get into any more PvP anyway. Because honestly, I want to try this out more. But now I'm worried to try and play on my like main fighter. Because how do I beat this as a fighter? Crossbow gaming? But I have invis. Like, uh, they are, oh, a melee wizard is going to significantly out DPS me. Significantly. When I get one falchion hit off, they probably are going to hit me with like two staff hits, and I'm probably just dead from that. Not that fighter's weak or anything, it's just versus this? Wizard was always, like, you know, a counter to um, fighter, but... Ah, oh, that's annoying. That skill always feels so hard to dodge. Or skill. That attack. Wow, did we just two hit this guy? And I guess, um... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, as I was saying, Wizard is always a bad matchup for Fighter. Or at least for PDR Fighter, maybe not so much for Slayer Fighter, but... With how few people really play a Slayer Fighter, I feel like it's not really worth talking about that much. Although I guess it is, like, one of the sanctioned, like... Wait, hang on. I think that's trying to, like, attack us from under from below. I wasn't sure if it was, like, attacking someone else. Well, our imagery is already pretty full, so like, honestly, we probably shouldn't waste too much time looting. Uh, let's pop another potion, make sure, there's no reason to not be top top. Okay, so I think there actually is a training dummy in this room, so let's go ahead and take a peek in here. Yeah, there are, perfect. Careful for the double hit. How many hits do these take? One, just two as well. Okay, right. So, like, 60 physical damage and, like, 33 magic damage. So that's almost a 90 damage headshot. Ooh, if we had a bit more dexterity there, we actually wouldn't have taken damage there. Oh, we actually lived. I did it live. Maybe I didn't headshot it in one of the hits. Okay, here we go. Right. Well, that at least frees our inventory up from a little bit, a little bit more because of the med usage. Mm, no, let's not use a bandage. We have enough health potions to just use another potion, honestly. Let's check this heavy ornate chest, and then I'm not really sure where we can possibly find more players. Um, sure, let's take both of those as well. That looks good. Smash these. Anything blue in here? Nope. All right. Well. I would like to fight at least one more other player. Ideally in here, if we can, before we have to leave. I guess, like, ten ignites is really a lot. Especially when you're doing this much damage with the... Knight. Okay, I can, perfect. The flaming staff looks pretty cool. I never really appreciated the staff, because I always wanted to play the, um, you know... Well, I didn't always want to. I guess I've, I've always enjoyed melee wizard and stuff, and things like Enhancement Shaman from WoW, uh... Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, how are we alive? Let's pop this surgical kit. And we just need to leave. So we're just going to go ahead and take this blue portal. Jesus, I was so worried there. And now this ranger is going to die to the zone. This guy, honestly, I, I saw a ranger in the lobby, so I thought it was going to be that guy. But no, this guy was a lot more geared. The other guy was in base kit. Or maybe this guy wasn't. Maybe this is the same guy he just found... Uh, yeah, looted. Yeah, it looks like he actually just found a bunch of decent pieces. Strength, 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 strength. Fizz power. God damn. This guy actually picked up some insane gear for one run, but... Unfortunately, he got too greedy for the kill. Luckily, we managed to live there. I don't know how. That was some kind of miracle, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, let's just store some of this gear for now. I actually got my first gold key as well, ever. We, uh, was playing with a friend and we killed, uh... Well, actually, as I was explaining how you can get a golden key very, very rarely from a skeleton champion, we got one on our, like, first kill together. This is, like, a newish player, so that was something. Anyway, let's go ahead. 324 gold from that. Of course, whatever we um, could sell the gear for as well, but we're not going to bother selling this for now. Let's just go ahead and do a few more runs. Hopefully, we can play not only goblin caves, but if we have to play only goblin caves, I guess so be it. Let's just definitely make sure we stock up on meds, though, because we're running pretty low on them now. But hopefully that showed you, like, just how much more survivable we are compared to a standard wizard. Because, my god, a standard wizard would have died there. Let's go ahead and bring in a potion of luck as well. We had enough gold to justify that. Uh, let's see what the map rotation is. No, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's head into another Goblin Caves and see what we can get up to. Okay, hey there, guys. Welcome back to Goblin Caves. So, a pretty decent class split in the uh, lobby that I saw. Uh, there is a rogue who's playing... Uh, Oh, wow. That's some crazy... Uh, we actually max rolled our luck potion, so maybe that's why we're getting so lucky there. But there is a rogue who's playing landmine, so we'll have to definitely be careful about that. I'll try and listen out in times where I think we possibly could be getting jumped on. Uh, someone said in the comments that they buff barrels to be as good as boxes. Uh, that definitely doesn't seem like it to me. Um, after playing quite a bit recently, I have basically got nothing of value from barrels. I mean, more boxes still seem pretty crazy. Uh, we probably could have two hit this guy there. We probably just could have just committed. Yeah, thought so. Right. Um, I ha still haven't really played much of the new Goblin Caves. Good news, though. I should have mentioned this in the first run. However, they did actually buff the... Oh, sorry, not buff. Fix the servers, basically. There's nowhere near as much lag now on Goblin Caves. There is still a tiny bit occasionally, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. So, if that was putting you off, uh, Goblin Caves... There's still issues for Goblin Caves, I think. I think there should be, like, another portal or maybe two. Because this map still feels like the most difficult to extract from by far. But I've found success recently just playing around the static extracts and just not really leaving or not really going too far away from them. And that seems pretty consistent. However, not always. Uh, but portals, it just doesn't feel like there's that many portals. What the hell just happened there? I had a feeling I was going to die. Um, I think white gems are actually, like, okay compared to most other white things. Uh, two magical healing might go for, like, a few hundred gold. Plus agility as well. A lot of casters are going to appreciate that. Although, of course, they did recently nerf uh, Warlock's Torch Mastery scaling again. It went from, like, 25% to 15%, I believe, so... Yeah. Not sure how many Warlocks are playing Torch Mastery. Honestly, don't... Ow. Don't think it's even worth playing Torture Mastering anymore. That's interesting that our shield actually blocks the damage from the poison. I didn't think it would do that. I thought it would only block um, damage from, like, if we got hit again, but... Unfortunately that we use a bunch of meds right off the bat. Maybe I should have bought a few more meds. I honestly didn't think we'd really be getting hit, but <laughs> maybe that was a mistake. It's generally worth bringing more meds than you're probably going to need. 
Like, three stacks is a pretty safe bet. Okay. Okay, man, this guy's a sniper. Are we doing less damage now for some reason? I thought that guy was going to die from the second hit, but then he took an extra one. Alright, well... There goes not taking so much damage, I guess. Immediately took quite a lot. Kind of wasted a few meds here and there as well, but let's not worry about it too much. We do have two campfires, so if we get a bit desperate, we... Okay, it won't. Surgical kit as well will help us as well. Uh, it does take a long time to use surgical kits on the wizard, if you saw in the previous game. Now, I would like to push out and try and engage in some PvP, so we're probably going to try and look for that. However, it's still a bit sketchy because we could be walking into a landmine. And if we're buffed up when we walk into a landmine, we'll probably be okay. Unless the guy's insanely geared. But if he catches us out when we're not buffed up, I do not like our odds. We're probably going to die. There's also a very geared PDR fighter somewhere, which I'd like to fight if we can. I feel like we'd be have a pretty good time cutting them out and also... Honestly, we'd probably be okay even in melee, like... As long as we don't, like, miss too many hits. Well, the Magic Staff does have a pretty low range. Which is always really my issue about it. Like, um... That's why I don't think it's truly that good in... PvP. Or PvE. But it it's only really good, I feel like, with Blow of Corruption, where you know, like, if you hit them in the head, they are probably going to die from, like, full HP almost. That's why I feel like the Blow of Corruption wallet build works with the Magic Staff. Just because if you do hit them, they almost certainly will die. Or if it did like, you know, half the damage, it probably wouldn't be viable. Even if it works on like two hits or something like that. But I don't know. Um, I don't feel like we could get too many upgrades very easily anymore. Now this room down here generally has quite a lot of PvP going on. Uh, I'm not even seeing any mobs alive or anything. Let's go take a peek. Okay, no, the mobs definitely are still alive in here. Well, let's not worry about this for now then. Hopefully we can come back there later and encounter some people. Uh, the centipede could be a pretty good idea to kill as well. Well, I would really like to find another player. I kind of wish my... um. Wizard was one of my higher ranks at the moment, to be honest, because I'm having lots of fun on this. Although, to be honest, if we died to that ranger, it probably would have been a bit of a different story. I probably would have been a little bit upset about that one, I'm not going to lie. Uh, although, it was partially... It was definitely partially me, because I uh, underestimated the guy's gear. As he, there was, I saw that there was only one ranger in the lobby, so I, and he was base kit, so he couldn't be that geared, right? So I tried to just run at him. He did also hit a nice shot, though, hitting us whilst we were running at him, invisible. Uh, that was definitely a nice play by that guy. Although, I guess it was pretty predictable. I should have walked in a bit of a different manner, I guess. However, my plans got a little bit changed when um, I tried to... ...rush him and I cancelled my invis because I, like, hit the wall with my staff. That's, of course, always an annoying thing that you have to be careful of when you're playing with the staff. Uh, there is also another wizard trying it, uh, trying melee wizard this run. They are, however, not running the Staff variant, they're running a Crystal Sword variant. Which possibly could be better. But I feel like it's probably not, just because of the Staff Mastery perk right now. Once that presumably is nerfed, like I assume it's going to be, it probably will be better. However, I can't say for, for sure. Maybe this is intended. But if it is intended, it needs to be nerfed. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't feel like I've played a class that has DPS output this high. Where is everyone? It's been such a quiet run. I've been like running around quite a bit. Um, I guess we'll take that as well, sure. Now this could definitely be our extract. If we keep an eye out for... Um... Or oh, we can probably stay around this area. Oh, this guy's not dead. Probably stay around this area and use this static. 
Honestly, the staff, like, bonk is quite satisfying as well. Like, Smite Cleric was decent with the magic staff, right? But this feels so much better. Because I think it is. Like, I think this is straight up doing, like, an extra, like, third of the damage. Bit of door. Northwest? Somewhere? Possibly? Yep, definitely someone in here. Hmm. Not really sure where, then. They may have gone the other way and be heading around. I'm hearing footsteps, but I'm really trying to tell where they are. Yeah, they're definitely towards that room. Okay, we just want top that guy. <clears throat> yeah, this is not balanced. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good amulet. Uh, let's take whatever highest tier treasures we can get. Let's drop a campfire. We don't need another campfire. Uh, take all the gold. Any of this gear any good? Not really, not really. Not really. Let's take that gold chalice as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is that balance, guys? We just one tap that guy. Granted, it's a low gear rogue, so like, yeah, he's squishy. But we still one tapped him as a wizard in melee. Maybe it is time to push the wizard to demigod. Let's just be careful here. Let's just magic missile the mage. As long as he, hopefully, he doesn't move. Okay, well, he moved. We can waste the magic missiles, honestly. We're probably not going to be using these too much in PvP, so it's not really that much of a waste. These are mainly there just to help us out in PvE, I feel like. Or, uh, like I say, for, bar uh, for barbarians and stuff. Things with the magic stuff as well is the awkward attack pattern. It's not really ideal. I feel like on Wizard, though, what you do have to do every now and then is just take a moment and just listen. Do you hear anything? Do you hear any footsteps that could be sneaking up on you? Because, of course, rogues, you've got to be careful of ranger traps as well. Those are your, the your big two things that kill you as a ranger, uh, sorry, as a wizard, right? Still remember we have the crossbow as well, but I don't really feel like we have, maybe it's not worth running it, honestly. Maybe you just run like a spell book as well so you can cast your buffs easier. I'm not sure. We could actually try the centipede in here and see how many hits this actually takes. I think we will. Try and avoid the... Poisons, of course. We don't really want to be taking unnecessary damage. Kill all, uh, a bunch of the spiders anyway. There's so many spiders here. We'll have to ignite again, but it's okay. Right, we have so many ignites actually. I didn't think having the extra ignites would really change it that much. But I suppose this means you can run it in base kit wizard. Uh, possibly without meditate. Just to clear PvE and then save your spells for PvP. Like we've casted quite a few and we still have another six or five now. Ah, took an unnecessary hit there. I feel like this has got to be close to death. Yeah. Jesus, like this DPS is crazy. Let's actually not worry about using that right now. No, usually I would, so no one else can use it, but we're probably going to be the only ones hanging around here for a while. Oh, those are actually some pretty decent jewelry pieces. 
Uh, let's go ahead and drop a gold... I don't know. I don't know which one of these is worth more. Probably a bowl, right? Two true magic damage, three fizz power. Eh, honestly, that's not that amazing, but... There is also another static, like, just inside the zone. So let's go ahead and... Keep heading forward. Oh, God, that action speed. You see that? Jesus. Let's pop a few more meds, and then let's go ahead and get moving. Honestly, I feel like we should probably just, like, prematurely pop a, a blue pot just in case. We have another one, so this also just makes our inventory a little bit neater as well. So if we waste it, it's not a big deal. Someone has been through here. Is a portal opening up to the south somewhere? There's a portal right there. Of course, they removed the VoIP trick, if you were unaware, so you can no longer see if people are close to you easily. We have basically, like, a number of extracts that we can be taking. I think we're probably the final player left at this point. Or did I just hear a footstep? Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, but as you can see, someone's definitely been through here and looted everything, so I think like... Oh, did I cancel that? No, just couldn't see it. Uh, let's go take one more peek. Nah, I think we're good. There's not really anything to gain, so let's just go ahead and get out. So I guess we should be using Ignite first, because it lasts the longest, and then we should haste, and then Invis, and then we can go ahead and go in. Although I suppose it should be Ignite, then Arcane Shield, then Haste, then Invis. Just so we actually make sure that we utilize that as well. Yeah, it looks like we were the last person alive in here. We probably got some pretty solid gold. We got some very high tier treasures in this run, so... Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, almost 500 gold for my treasures. That way, actually. Yep. 489 gold from our treasures. It's like, it's a very solid run. We also got six heart candies, some decent jewelry pieces, along with, uh, I think our gold purse was also filled up before that as well. So yeah, we've got some very, very nice things from these runs so far. I actually run out of gold purses, damn. Um, I might have to save up for the uh, third stash space because, yeah, unfortunate about these gingerbreads. Uh, I guess I probably could still sell them, but I don't really know if we want to spend any gold upgrading anything. Like, I guess we could get, like, a better neck or something, or maybe a better head. Let's look for a better head. Let's actually go ahead and buy this wizard hat for 150 gold. It gives us two vigor, two will, of course, five magical power. Pretty solid run. Oh, sorry, pretty solid item. It's only a little bit of an upgrade. It's more of, like, a side grade than anything, but we'll take it. A little bit of extra tankiness and a little bit more damage as well. Right, let's get into it. We'll do one more Goblin Caves, and then if the rotation is on a solo map that isn't Goblin Caves, we'll go for that, but I can't really control that, guys, unfortunately, so we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys in game. Okay, hey there, guys. We're into our final run. I forgot to buy a Lock Potion, unfortunately, so we're not quite probably going to be getting as good loot as we did last run. However, um, I did see a bunch of Rangers in this run. So, if there's any run that's going to be dangerous, I feel like it's going to be this one. Oh, god damn, this guy's a nightmare. That guy is fast. Um, yeah, so this could be probably the most dangerous run we've had. I think I saw, like, three or four rangers for some reason. You don't normally see that many rangers playing solo, especially in goblin caves. Maybe in ruins, but it's risky. Um, but... I feel like that's probably going to be our hardest matchup. There is also a barbarian, but maybe now after the barbarian's got nerfed a lot, it won't be as bad. I might be coping. I'm not sure. We'll try and see. <laughs> but, yeah. No, if you guys wanted to play Melee Wizard, definitely give this a go. This is a lot of fun and probably very overtuned. Oh, okay, I was, didn't, wasn't sure if we'd make it through here. Uh, you have to crouch here because there's two traps. You get quite chunked if you don't crouch underneath there. Looks like we have zones, so hopefully we can get some other people pushing into us. That looked like a... No, never mind. I thought that was purple one. But I'm not going to lie. It feels so good just killing PvE so fast with no spells. Base kit wizard is probably so much better in solos now. 
No, the thing is, they did buff Meditate, but I feel like Meditate is never re- Oh, wow, that's a good ring as well. Uh, hmm. Does this just give us 3%? Okay. I feel like one magic damage, honestly, might be, like, more valuable. Let's go ahead and pop the arcane shield. There's not really much point. Yeah. I should have dodged that. You see how much damage that still did through our bloody shield? Like, that's quite a lot, but anyway. I actually brought more meds this time, so we shouldn't be, um... We should be fine. There's some decent chests here. I, honestly, I don't really know if this place is worth going for, because the, um, fireplaces, uh, or, like, the, the things that shoot fire out kind of keep you stuck here sometimes quite for quite a long time, so... I also forgot how insane our boots are, so we're so fast. We're getting... Uh, 16 movement speed from these, along with actually some damage reduction and some actual damage bonus as well. Very, very nice boots. Yeah, man. But yeah, I definitely think you definitely need some like vigor and strength for this build. You definitely need to be able to survive a few hits, which is why I've been trying to actually build a lot more vigor and strength than I normally would. Um, 17 Vigor, 13 Strength is pretty decent. 104 base health, plus, of course, we have 25% PDR, which is, you know, some. It's not a huge amount. <sighs> oh, well, <laughs> we'll be all right. But yeah, like I say, I feel like Rangers are still going to be our most difficult matchup. Hopefully we can fight a, the Barbarian this run. I didn't check how geared he was. I didn't really have much time. I just kind of scanned what classes were actually in the lobbies. Which is very strong, by the way. Like, if you guys don't do that, you definitely should. Just to look for, like, your bad matchups to see how many there are. And then that can help you determine how you should play. Whether you should play a bit more uh, safer or more aggressive. It, it's one of, like, the... Scouting is just so strong. It's so weird. Because if someone... If it's a counter, even if they're low geared, they might not be that much of a counter. So that definitely changes how you play, right? Or probably should, if it, even if it doesn't. Okay, perfect. Right. So we do actually have some lockpicks. So let's go ahead and... Check in this golden chest, see if we can get anything good from here. The gold goblets, blue pot, and a bunch of Lotia stuff. Honestly, I feel like golden chests are pretty underwhelming. Quite often, to me, they feel worse than the average lion's head, which is so weird, seeing as they're always locked and rarer, higher tier chests. Maybe they're not higher tier, but definitely feels like they should be, anyway. Now... From here, we do have the static, so if I was trying to not engage in PvP, I would probably just loot everything around here and try and look to play for the static and extract from there. However, I'm pretty confident in our ability with this set and this build. So I think let's go ahead and... Mm, no, I don't think any players are going, likely to be there. I think they're likely to be more to the south of us, so let's go ahead and start clearing through this to the south. I don't know why now we're, like, not too hitting mobs. Or maybe it's... Is it just the Axeman that we're too hitting? Ah, uh, well, that was a shoulder hit. So maybe if that was a headshot, we would have. Okay, yeah, so it is just the Axeman. Oh, and Bowler Sling is probably that we're too hitting rather than the Archers. Because I think for some reason the Archers are tankier than the Axeman, which is a bit weird. Uh, yeah, some treasures underneath that as well. But, like, just look at our stats. How well balanced is that for a wizard? Like, 13 strength, 17 vigor, 20 agility, 21 dexterity, 28 will, 30 knowledge. 18 resourcefulness as well. Like, our interaction speeds actually aren't so low. I guess this is just part of... We honestly should probably look for a better neck. Like, that's an okay neck, but... We could probably get something like a, a will base, possibly, or maybe a vigor base, something like that, which would help us out. How are our legs? Oh yeah, our legs are actually pretty good. Pretty huge movement speed from those. And additional strength. Mm, we'll take rugged boots. 
in high roller now for if you're playing for AP, I think the trick is or like the the stats are that purple treasure uh, sorry purple items gear pieces are about green treasures. So like you should drop them for blue treasures, I believe. What? How is it so quiet? Honestly, I'm really shocked at how quiet it is. What about in here? Yeah, even that's not cleared. I don't know. I don't really know the spawns particularly well, so I can't exactly like rush with PvP that effectively in um, Goblin Caves. Ever since they made it so we can play other maps as solos, I haven't played much Goblin Caves, to be honest. But I definitely appreciate this map a bit more now that... What's that audio? I thought I heard someone, but I actually don't think I do. I thought I heard, like, a, a ranger. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure it's actually not a player. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. Okay, well, for a second I thought we are actually going to... The reason why I'm being so, like, nitpicky about the audio as well is it's for rogues. Like I keep saying, if, if we walk into a rogue unbuffed, we're dead. If we walk in buffed, there's a chance. Ideally, of course, um, we can try and get the drop on them like we did with that previous rogue. However, that guy, um, I don't really know what that guy did. Like, maybe he was a bit of a newer player or something, because that guy heard, should have heard me buffing up. And then he, like, instead of trying to hide, I thought I'd have to try and, like, smack the air and try and knock him out of it. But no, he just didn't even hide. Maybe he wasn't running hide. Or possibly um, it was on cooldown or something. I don't really know. I guess we are kind of pushing away from the zone, so possibly that's why we're not in uh, encountering many players too busy yapping. Right, um... And let's go in here. There's some decent loot in here. This is also usually a decent place to find players sometimes, maybe not. But being able to kill things this efficiently on Wizard without using any resources is really, really nice. And like I say, yeah, probably broken. But <laughs> we'll see. I mean, Barbarian was broken for a long time and that didn't... That only just got changed, right? Finally. So maybe this will last longer than I expected to. However, it is Wizard that, of course, has a history of just getting nerfed. If uh, if it's even slightly too strong, it will just get nerfed. Even when most Wizard players were suffering because it was just harder to play this class at, like, lower gear levels. But, of course, at high gear levels, Wizard's definitely one of the better scaling classes. Mm, did we come through and clear this? This is honestly such a dead run. I'm considering just leaving. I don't know why it's such a dead run, though. I don't want to leave yet. I would like to fight another player. We haven't even really done much looting or anything. I don't like lockpicking uh, the bronze or nate chests. I haven't really exp uh, lockpicked them much, but those chests don't feel that amazing when they're not locked, so I don't really feel like it's worth wasting a lockpick on them. I could be wrong. Maybe they're really good if they're locked and it's like a different loot pool or something, but... Let's go ahead and clear out these spiders, clear out this thing, and then... Go ahead and take out the centipede as well. Didn't think I was actually going to be able to dodge that there, because of the, um... We were slightly raised. Let's go ahead and pop another ignite. I think we'll probably kill it with this ignite. I hate shooting those, it's crazy. Just be careful about that. You can dodge it by um, side strafing, but I feel like sometimes you get hit doing that. Oh, wow. That's a good neck as well. Physical healing will, physical damage bonus. I will take it just because we have nothing right now. That's a pretty nice neck. Truth is damage. Strength, move speed. Spellcasting and speed's not really going to help at all. Oh, this, this room's actually unlooted. This room is a pretty good loot place. Um, quite a lot of treasures on the walls. You can usually get some greens or blues or something from here. 
Oh, you hear that? There's to the north. There's um a goblin attacking, and someone just shut a door. However, the centipede's still alive right there, so we're probably gonna have to find a different way through. However, let's go ahead and loot this first. Ring, green treasure. Uh, is this ring any good? Will move speed, fizz damage reduction. It's pretty good, but the number's are just a bit low for it to really be that good. Gold water pot is one of the, like the worst treasures. I think it's actually the worst four slot. Uh, I guess we'll take another surgical kit for now. I should make sure we use the um, higher tier one first. Over here, as the zone starts to close in here, we're probably going to meet some players here, so... Yeah, there's definitely someone like above us somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, someone's already cleared all these things. Probably should have grabbed the Shrine of PDR. Let's grab the Shrine of Power, at least. We should be relatively safe here. However, now we probably want to start looking for, like, um... Well, basically, we have that other static that we can go back to if we want to. But I want to find a player. Although they are probably rangers that we're likely to find, which, of course, as I've said, are probably the harder... Probably the hardest. Definitely one of the harder matchups for us. As I say, the ones I'm worried about are Rogue, Ranger, and Barbarian. Which are just historically the counters to Wizard. I'm going to cast an Ignite, but no other buff. Okay. Well, luckily we got the drop on that guy. We also did manage to actually dodge some of his shots, which was pretty good. Okay. Let's try and loot this guy from whatever we can get. Uh, oh, wow, that tunic is insane. Uh, that's pretty insane as well. That's not that good. That's good. Uh, vigor, fist power. Okay. We don't have much time. Let's go ahead and open this as well. Uh, let's check his longbow. Pretty decent longbow, but let's not worry about it. Uh, let's drop that. Let's grab... Green treasures, I guess. Uh, drop that. Grab that. Let's grab whatever potions. Okay. Yeah, let's just head out of here. Okay, well, when you catch uh, rangers off guard like that, you're going to be fine. But when if that guy fought us in a better area for him, of course, right there, there's not many angles where he can actually um, get the distance on us. The distance is what's going to kill us against rangers or traps. Oh, look, we actually made it to Pathfinder on um, the wizard. Wasn't planning on that, but I guess if it happens, it happens. Let's quickly sell all these treasures, store all this jewelry we've got. We've actually been picking up so much jewelry, honestly. We should maybe be a little bit stricter in the gear that uh, the jewelry that we're picking up. I guess that a lot of it is there's a lot of centipedes on the new goblin caves, so a lot of people are probably killing those. Um, some of these gear pieces will be worth a huge amount. Like I think this padded tunic is very, very good. This will probably sell for multiple ingots. Uh, those are okay. They're not that amazing. Those are okay. Uh, those are just things that we picked up for AP. Um, so, yeah, let's not worry about selling all this stuff for now. It's going to take a while for probably to sell these things, although I probably should just put these things up and then um, we can see them later if they sell. But for now, I want to do one more run, possibly, if the map is not Goblin Caves. 
Okay, hey there guys, I've waited about half an hour and it's finally gone back to solos on ruins. I would have taken, uh, taken ice caves as well. We're just going to be heading straight back in. Um, actually, I think we'll grab one more stack of health potions just in case. We probably won't need them, but better be safe than sorry. It's only 18 gold. All right, I'll see you guys in game. I'm going to check of about 95 and then let's do one headshot with that. Yeah, and that's going to be about another 20... We're doing about over 100 damage per headshot, which is just crazy. Plus, we got the burn tick as well, so that's going to be even more added on as well. Now, of course, we are down one ignite now. You don't get it back if you use it during the pregame lobby, but it's fine. we still got nine. Um, I just want to say, guys, if you've been enjoying the video so far, I'd appreciate likes a lot. Uh, let me know what your thoughts in the comments. How are you going in Dark and Darker right now? Are you enjoying the game? Are you going to wait until the newest... Um, or until the season ends, where they're presumably going to do a reset. It's not um, confirmed or anything yet. But I imagine they probably will, or maybe soon after. And then... Uh, if you want to see more like this, I appreciate subscriptions a lot as well. So thank you for that as well. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, I think to the south, they're prob... Did that shoot at us? I'm not sure if that shot at us or at someone else. There is a spawn pretty close to the south. So we'll probably head down to that. Or actually, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's head over to the cemetery over here. Try and loot the royal coffin. Oh, I actually forgot that there's the um, boss here now as well. How do you open this? Let's just avoid that for now. I say boss. It's, I believe, a mini boss. But either way, it's going to take us a while to kill. Didn't mean to fall off, but not everything in life is planned, I guess. Gonna take us a little bit longer to get up there than I would have liked to. I would have liked to have gotten up there a bit early. Oh, it, it feels so good though, just hitting mobs and like killing them in three headshots whilst using zero resources. There is someone there. Obviously, I don't know what they were. That explosion was the um, Skeletal Mage. Okay, well, let's just go and chill. All we're going to do is we're just going to kite a little bit, get some potion sticking, and then go ahead and fight this guy. Okay, okay. What happened there, if you didn't see, was our ignite actually went off or ran out, so we didn't actually want up that guy there or like to hit him. Took three heads, uh, headshots instead, so definitely not as fast as we could have killed him, but I actually don't know how you kill this thing. I've never fought this thing before, except uh, just by cheesing it. Uh, I'm just going to hope it resets and then we can go back and do our kill after. Uh, didn't play that ideally. Uh, that guy was further away than I thought he was. However, cleric for us is basically just food. Like, they don't really stand a chance. We can either kill them at range or at uh, in melee. So, this is why I stopped playing cleric solo so much, because it's just so bad. I'm not going to lie. I enjoy cleric, but being so slow... You can't choose the engagements that you engage in, and people are just going to run away unless they it's a good matchup or they have the advantage somehow. Uh, this guy had some pretty decent stuff. Th three match healing book is crazy. That's pretty good. Hmm. Well, all this isn't amazing. We'll take a, uh, a spare campfire because we're probably going to go and use one right now. We'll take his lockpicks as well. Some pretty decent gear on that. That's actually looted, so let's go ahead and take those. There's a handled. But yeah, let's not worry about them. 
How many spells are we missing? Yeah, we're missing quite a few. So let's go ahead and campfire in here. Hmm, where? Let's go ahead and campfire in here. Honestly, I feel like this might be like some of the safer... One of the safer spots to do this in. Because obviously people can't see us. And hopefully we can hear people coming. I forgot we have the crossbow as well. I honestly don't think like we're actually going to use that very much. Now, we definitely can use it. It's probably good to use it. However, just remembering that we have it and utilizing it, I'm not sure. I do think it is probably part of the like BIS kit for melee wizard. It's just, um, you know, you need to remember that you actually can utilize that. Like when that guy was dodging fireballs, I probably should have just sent uh, some crossbow shots at him instead of trying to rely on the uh, fireballs. It's quite easy to dodge fireballs, right? It's not so easy to dodge um, crossbow shots. But yeah, I mean, that shows the power, I think. Well, I guess not. It's a cleric, right? It's already a good matchup. But even though our ig ignite had worn off, we still three-shot that guy to the head. Like, that is pretty crazy damage. Some of these pieces are actually pretty good. It's a shame we're not really going to be able to take too many of these things. Um, we definitely can drop some of this gear. Oh, my God. We're finding so much good loot. The cemetery always... Or graveyard generally has pretty good loot, but loot this good is not that common, I feel like. This would be nice. Uh, this would be a nice little zero to hero... Um, Cemetery. Quite good gear from- oh my god, look at that as well. Vigor, magical power, occultist boots. Our boots are so good though because of the move speed, like, we're just so fast. We're just going to have such an advantage on most people. Oh hey, there's someone else here. Oh my god, there's loads of boys. I haven't seen much teaming in this um, game since they did the change, but I suppose that's because I've mainly been playing Goblin Caves. Goblin Caves is just a worse map to team on. Uh, because you you just run out of portals. Speaking of portals, there's actually a blue portal down there. Um, right, so I am down to try and fight people two on one. However, we need to do it correctly. We can't just run in there like an idiot and stat check them. Well, honestly, maybe we're so overtuned that we can, but we shouldn't. We should try and play to our strengths. Because we're going to be probably fighting a group, let's go ahead and rest up and get all of our spells back just to make sure we are fully topped off. It's not too bad anymore just resting for your spells. It does still take a little while, but it's a lot better than it used to be before they buffed the um, meditating rates. Or sorry, not meditating, just resting rates by like... They buffed it by like three times or something. So, while fireball does still take a while... At least we've got our four fireballs back now. All right. So, what we'll probably do is let's open this, because we're probably the only person who has seen this. And let's go ahead and go back. So I saw a rogue. I saw a fighter. The rogue's scary. But let's go ahead and see who's in here. I hear someone. I think they're below. Yeah, they are. Right, well, let's try and let's try and take the fight. This is a barbarian fighter. Oh my god, how many people is that? There's three there. No friendly. Okay, that's one dead. Someone down there.
Okay, let's go ahead and run. Okay. That's one dead. We're probably not going to be able to loot that guy. There's someone here. We're using a lot of resources, unfortunately. Now, let's just get slightly in the zone and campfire. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's actually campfire. So, there's one down. There's a barbarian. There's a fighter. I think there's a rogue somewhere as well. We need to try and pick them off one at a time. We definitely can't engage like 1v3. Let's just make sure we have all of our spells because we're going to need them. Unfortunately, we use all of our blue potions. We have no blue potions left. Uh, we've got all of our spells. Let's go ahead and pop this. I think we're going to have to go all the way around. We can probably take the static red. Yeah. The thing is now, we probably can't fight them because there's going to be so many portals open, probably. This guy's going to take this. Yeah, I knew it. Right. Yeah, see, everyone's just taking portals. Um, we'll take the red as well. I want to fight this. At least I want to fight the um, fighter. A shame we couldn't loot that kill. I hope someone looted that at least, whether it was us or not. Okay, welcome to runes. Uh, yeah, we didn't really gain much from killing that guy. But... Right, well, let's sort our inventory out a little bit. This is a bit of a mess. Uh, we're running kind of low on meds. Unfortunately, no blue potion sucks. Uh, let's use an ignite here, just to try and speed this up a bit. Otherwise, it's going to take us a while to clear this room. Oh, look at our DPS output. It's just insane. Um... Let's not worry about looting any of those zombies or anything. We already have pretty good stuff on us. I honestly just want to try and hunt the other player. So maybe what we'll try and do is just try and... Okay, we'll take a purple arming sword. Actually okay as well. Weapon damage for his damage bonus. Not too bad. I want to try and hunt this other player. Ooh, a blue potion. Perfect. There was a few too many people there working against us, unfortunately, to try and... Uh, get anything done super quickly. Let's just honestly pop Ignites. Like, we have so many. Okay. Almost gave that guy a headshot. Ooh, he died to the two hits from the burn. Wow, crazy. Insane damage. Close to the burn? Yeah. Wow. Really, really good. Now, this has been a pretty high-octane game, though. Are there any traps here? No, okay. That's just all I was worried about. Let's try and bait in case it's a double shot. Two hits or three? Two, okay. Ooh, blue treasure, perfect. I mean, our inventory is pretty full, yeah. Hmm. I'm kind of going the wrong way if I want to try and look for players. So... Let's go ahead and go the right way, I guess. We'll, we'll head south, and then we'll try and run to the um, high uh, uh, traffic areas. Possibly we can find that guy? Well, I don't know. He looked like he did want to fight as well. Although, I guess he was trying to team. But we have killed so many players this game. Like, if you enjoy PvP gameplay, uh, give us a like. <laughs> 
We don't often do too much PvP on this channel, just due to the nature of Zero to Heroes, I feel like it's wisest not really to do much PvP. But I definitely enjoy PvP. Although, I've been doing a surprising amount on my Demigod climb as well on the, my fighter solo. However, when you die in there, god damn it sucks. You have to buy a whole nother kit. Uh, you lose your entrance fee, of course. You lose whatever you'd progress you'd made in there. You lose whatever loot you'd grabbed. It kind of sucks, but... Hey. It's fun. And now maybe with the marketplace, it shouldn't take as long to, um... Grab a new kit. Or make a new kit. Being a bit lazy with my PvE here. Did I... No. Oh, I did grab the health shrine, damn it. Shouldn't have done that. Should have cleared out the mobs first. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and lockpick this. I feel like heavy ornate chests are fine to lockpick. Blue, blue. Wow, not bad. Honestly, that might be better than what we have. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Uh, we lose a tiny bit of vigor and stuff, unfortunately, but... Should be a pretty big damage increase. Physical damage bonus, action speed, will. Tiny bit of magic resist, which probably won't really make much of a difference. Difference. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this health potion. Let's pop a bandage. We have enough bandages, really. So we don't have to worry too much about them. It's just health potions we need to be a bit more conservative with, probably. Right, let's head to the south here to a more central position. Why are we at, like, three out of four on those? Let's try and bait the, um, overhead. Ah. Uh, Unfortunate. The overhead is so much easier to dodge. Oh. I heard a zombie take damage. However, I feel like it's a, it just walked into the traps, which is probably why. Yeah, it definitely just walked back into the traps. Right, well, there's a bunch of boxes here that we can loot. Then we'll continue heading south. Uh, let's make sure we actually equip those blue potions as well. I think there's probably only that fighter in here somewhere. And honestly, if we don't find him soon, he'll probably just have extracted. Unless he's going to hell. Let's just make sure we pop another potion. Don't want to be missing health for any reason. However... We will be able to easily kite out a fighter. So the only thing we really need to worry about is committing into melee too early. And also him getting the drop on us with a crossbow shot or something like that could be scary as well. I actually don't want to head this way. Let's head west and then head south. Uh, let's just pop another ignite. I guess this is a nice thing about having eight ignites or not ten ignites. You can kind of just use them whenever you feel like and get a little bit of a clear speed bonus. Unfortunate that I bloody couldn't hit that guy, so spawned in another gas cloud as well, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Oh my god, that made me jump out of my skin. I'm not gonna lie. I went to take my hand off my keyboard and I accidentally tried to put it down really quick and pressed the uh, X. <laughs> put my weapon away. White magic staff. We'll salute this chest, then we'll sit for a moment just to top our health back up, get our spells back real quick. And then make our way further, hopefully, towards the player. We don't need to worry about our ignites. Uh, four magic missiles will be fine. Let's just make sure we've got full buffs, full health. Yep, okay, we're good. Uh, was this one that I opened? Yeah, I, yeah, that was where I came from. Okay, good to know. Right, down this way. The nice thing as well is the movement speed. I guess your movement speed wouldn't be that good. If you're not running, like, five additional move speed legs and these got them 16 movement speed boots as well. But I guess it shows the potential that we can actually use, like, stats uh, for movement speed and not have to worry too much about damage. Uh, there's a, that's actually... Okay, well, there's the Barbarian, actually, as well. Hmm... Is this cleared? This is not cleared. Okay, we don't really want to go through there then. What's blocking me there? 
I'm down to try and fight this guy. I want to test the um, potential against the Barbarian. That was good. Okay. I mean, that guy misplayed really heavily, so it wasn't so much... It wasn't so much a hit or anything. It cut, this guy kind of just misplayed it pretty terribly. Um, let's go ahead and drop some of these things. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab jewelry. Stock upon meds. Uh, let's drop that as well. Let's make sure we've just got enough meds to survive. Let's pop some meds now, actually, real quick. Our health pool is obviously quite small, so... We're not really playing for AP here. Uh, let's drop, like, green goblets, green treasures. Let's take anything that we can that's blue or better. Oh, my God, I just dropped one. Uh, whatever. Very good treasures on this guy. Very, very nice treasures. Right, well, we can get some more from that guy, but let's not worry about it. Uh, I think we're okay for now. Let's go ahead and open this. Let's pop a med, and then I think, honestly, let's just go in here and... Huh. I don't know where if the other fighter is in here somewhere. I guess if he is anywhere, he'll be in here. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. No. Unless... Well, someone has been in here and cleared through some of this. So he could possibly be in here somewhere. However, I think we're just going to be leaving now. We're just going to clear out these mobs and leave. Unless the guy's taking a red or something. Yeah. Yeah, we're out of here. It was pretty good runs, guys. We got a hell of a lot of kills in this run. Uh, let's see if we were the final one alive or if he did go to hell. Yeah, we were the final person in here. So another 640 AP. We got some pretty good gear again. Some things are gonna, some of these things are going to sell. We uh, unfortunately did misplay our looting a little bit. We should have dropped some of these meds and stuff. Um, we have two, uh, of course, open slots. But generally, I think we made it out there pretty well. We also should have dropped these crossbow bolts and stuff. Uh, had green things up here, but yeah. Anyway, guys, melee wizard feels insane. This feels overpowered. Will it get nerfed? Probably. Let's see. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you a lot. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate your likes a lot. If you want to see more like this, subscriptions will help you out with that, and they'll also help me out. Almost getting to 2K, so I'd appreciate that a lot. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Good luck in your games.